Hey, what are you doing? It is good to see you again. Do you now know where my son is? What? Nay, what happened? Mirin knew of something that would have brought the House of Skeldon into disrepute. Hagrast was forced to kill him. What? House Skeldon? Killed my only son? They will pay for every moment of sorrow. I, they will pay. Skeldon will pay dearly for the death of my son.
Hi. Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's have a look. Won't open. Temperature is rising. Let's have a look.
Have you brought me the rope? You do not seem to be the squeamish kind. Indeed, I am not, but the carrying of this gives me a weird sensation. I thank you, and here is your reward. If you wish to earn even more, return in the future. Farewell. Tarnation, it will not work. Mayhap it has to be near the subject. Ah, no matter. I have another task for you. Take these dolls to some people in the nearby cave. First hangman's rope, now dolls. Ye gods. Think of the money, Sir Jester. Nay, tis rather a simple task. Aye, but odd all the same. Take these and deliver them to the smugglers hiding in the nearby cave.
Aha. It's you. What kind of deadly magic is this? What do you mean? You know well what I mean. When I brought the dolls to those men, they all dropped dead. I do not believe it. It worked. What worked? Speak, old man. This took years of work with black magic. They all said it was not possible. Ha! You have now seen how well it works. Aye, and I am not sure that I like it either. What do you mean? Tis a true wonder! Do not wander far, mercenary. I have another task for you. What now? Ah, you will see. You will see. I believe so. All I need is an object that belongs to the victim. Aye, and the hangman's rope. Indeed. I hope we meet again soon. Ah, mercenary, well met. Are you ready for more work? Whom do you wish to murder now? These smugglers you killed were only minions of our corrupt Lord Ebrat Skeldon. No one will miss them. I want Skeldon himself. I will bring his bloody reign to a timely end. I see. And your role for me in this, pray? You did not bring me enough rope the last time. I need more. I have heard there was a hanging of late. You know where to find what I need in that case. Glad tidings indeed. I will ready the doll while you prepare yourself for the task. Yes, I bribed his maid to bring me one of his repulsive snot cloths. She asked no awkward questions? No more than you. Farewell.
are very interesting. Welcome to my shop.
That's fair. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's have a look.
Let's battle. That's interesting. Let's have a look.
go.
Mm, won't open. Let's see. Today wasn't your day. Let's have a look. Welcome. Do you seek something, um, special, perchance?
It's getting hot here. Alive. A miracle indeed. Do you have the totems? How in the name of Maliel did you do that? The Groms will never attack now. Friend, you have performed an invaluable service for our house. I will personally inform Sano Moon of your deeds. May your road be safe, mercenary.
rain again. I love that. Let's see. Let's have a look. locked.
that's for you. Aha. Let's have a look. Let's see.
Got anything for me? If you want to be somebody and I... Use Kosh... I have things to do. Come back later, in two years perchance. Sano Moon sends me. Ah, the bounty hunter. Sano told me a little of you. How long have you been in Talmont? Enough to learn of a few nasty places. Ah, pity. I need an unknown face. Just do it and get out quietly, you know? Pity you're known. You do not need to worry about my stealth. No one will see me if I do not wish it. Uh, you better be stealthy. I'll tell you why. Tis bandits. The royal caravan from the excavations was attacked. The king himself is furious. I understand. Do you know where these bandits could be located? I will tell you all you need to know. You do your work and no questions. Tis simple. Your men could even do this. Nay, it is a delicate task. Skelden House must avoid any association with those bandits. Anyway, Finch and his group have failed us too often. This is his farewell. The bandits worked for you? Oh, I said no questions. Aye, but the more I know, the less risks I run. Verily. Right, I'll tell you. We used Finch to make some extra profit from the excavations. Now we hear that someone else has hired him too. A reputation is at stake here. Any link between the House of Skelton and attacks on royal caravans must die. Understand? Why not provide your own guards for royal caravans? The council, uh, I mean, King Emrys, he offered us his help to transport the vine to Catalon. A true royal gesture. A sign of distrust to me. If I didn't know that Sano sent you, I'd swear you were Karga. Shut up and get on with your task. Do you know Darrett, the great gate on the way to Catalon? His hiding place is in a cave to the east of Darrett. And if there's a guard outside, tell him that the house greets Finch and sends his payment. Ah, that's a good one. No idea, friend. I just make sure that everything flows along nicely. I have better skeld and blood than he, but he has a high rank. People like him for some reason. Even Abrat ignores it when Sano spends house money. Fair journeys. A fine day. Well met indeed. Welcome to our shop. We offer good prices for Brotherhood members.
Tis you. They told me to let you in if you came here. Who told you? This is a Giritza stronghold, friend. What did you expect, the Royal Council? Do nothing foolish here. Our eyes are everywhere. Aye. A fine day. Have a look. I do not wish to talk. Then I will respect that. Wait. Have we met? Uh, what, what do you want? Nothing. Something compelled me to come here. You remind me very much of someone. He was here of late. He also could not tell me why he came. After his visit, my family was murdered. I grieve for you. Oh, it is not your fault. Iron Shoes chose them, and I must accept that. I know not what you mean. Iron Shoes? Every time a god is born or dies, Iron Shoes calls for the witness. I believe my daughter and wife were chosen. You said they were murdered. We were in the same room when it happened. I heard nothing. Iron Shoes took many lives this summer. Do you really believe in this, Iron Shoes? The gods are afraid of those who watch. They whisper to me sometimes, but I cannot understand them. You are crazy. They are aliens on this world, but they are patient. Time is on their side. You need rest. I, I do indeed. Well, good day to you. Nice to see you. Welcome.
What's that? Let's have a look. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
for you. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Ah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What's that? Let's have a look. Ah! 
You, you won't get in without a password. Yes, that took a while. Go on in. Pinch awaits you. Yes. How cozy. You're late. Again. If Seth thinks I'm one of his slaves, he better think again. Where is the money? There is no money. Only a farewell from Seth. Damn their eyes. Why are our employers so hasty? Is it because of the little incident? <laughs> I can explain that. Explain. Convincingly. It wasn't our idea. Someone contacted us when we were getting supplies in Gorilin about a week ago. He asked us to steal something from the excavations transport. At first, we thought it was a jest. You know what work we do for Skeldon. He must have known it too, but he didn't seem to care that we wouldn't let him go with that knowledge. Morn wanted to kill him then and there, but he said, cool as you like, I can arrange for certain people in Catalan to vanish. That man knew how to grab our attention. Do you have any problems in Catalan? I thought Set might have told you. A sweet little wench whined too much. Turned out her father was of great import in the city. But we had to leave sudden-like. Me and Morn went to Talmont and joined up with the rest. We stayed there boozing for a while till Set found us and locked us all up. We were sure we would swing, but we didn't. So he offered you work? Aye. We were supposed to attack the caravans and store the booty here. Said it always sent his men to take it from us. <laughs> but the pay was regular and was much safer than facing up to enraged fathers of the wenches we'd got to know. Then, three weeks ago, we got no money. Then again. And that meant Set didn't care about us anymore. So we left as fast as we could run. Then the stranger arrived? Aye. It was simple, too. We take a special item to Four Stones. He makes a big angry father vanish and opens up Catalan for us again. What was the item you were to bring to him? Worthless old dwarven junk, if you ask me. Who would do so much for an old piece of rubbish? I don't care. I believe that man can do anything. What do you mean? Because they say now that the Giritza has competition. And twas that stranger. The family tried hard to catch him, but he got away. Fled. You understand? He got away from the Garitza in Goralin. He can do anything. Ah, enough babbling. You didn't come here to listen to my stories, did you? Set wouldn't send a bad fighter to us. And? You'll mayhap kill a few of us, but we'll get you, and you know it. Interesting. That's mayhap not the best proposal I've heard lately, but... Interesting. Why would you do this for us? I need to know a few things, and your booty may be worth much more than your lives. Here, keep it. It brought us nothing but trouble, and I'm sure that stranger in Four Stones won't care who he gets it from. I think that the climate in Talmont is getting unhealthy for us. With the Orc War underway, there's good chances for the likes of us. Farewell.
What are you still doing here? I told you, go to Four Stones. Hi. The Council still believes that it's the rebels who attack the caravans. If this continues, Ultar Karga and his men will be attacking us soon. Aye? Speak your peace. that. Let's see.
What news, mercenary? Huh? This thing? What does it do? It doesn't even work. Are you disappointed? Nay, but tis a surprise. Strange indeed. Anyway, you have accomplished your task. I'll tell my superiors of this. Before I forget, you said information and money's what you need. Here, this'll help, perchance. Watch where you step, friend.
You have returned. And have you spoken to the Enlightened? Stop that, or I'll call the guards. And? Finch is gone forever, is he? I knew you could do it. Take your reward. Uh, mayhap it would be better if you vanished. You know why, eh? Fair journeys.
leave me in Stop. peace. That. You guys, what do you know? Don't halt. <laughs> Pay thirty. Th All right. Grand day. That's interesting. Have you heard? There was another murder attempt on Abrat Skeldon. What? I, a madman with an axe, screamed and ran at him. The guards got him first, though. Do you know who the assassin was? Someone from Tarbacan. They say that his son worked for the house, but was a spy. I think that they were both spies, and when we found out, they lost their heads. Those rebels will never learn that there is no other ruler in Talmont other than the glorious house of Skeldon. Talmont was a barbaric province before we arrived. When the clan Karga ruled, no law-abiding merchant would even come here. Every village was a thieves' den, every trade route was controlled by smugglers and crime lords, and Ultar Cargo was their chief, too. Many people show up here, not just from the king's court, but strangers of doubtful reputation. And Sano's method of dealing with cutthroats and smugglers doesn't help either. Sano hires murderers and smugglers? Why? Don't ask me. Nobody ever knows Sano's thoughts, but Abrat Skeldon trusts him. Abrat doesn't see the things we do. What do you mean? I had to take something to Sano's house of late. He didn't answer to my knocking, so I just went in. Have you ever seen a man with gray fever? If he had gray fever, he would look like a skinned corpse. You must be mistaken. They say that gray fever can be cured, but that it costs the earth. Nay, it was gray fever, I tell you. 
There is no cure for it. Nay, but with necromancy. You know what I mean? The question is, where does the cure come from, and who pays a fortune for it? Beware of the rebels, they have twisted minds. Got anything for me? If you want to be so... You... Welcome to our shop. Stranger! Mid, I... Looking for something. Ah, well Good day met. to you. What do you want? I have no time for you. Sano believes that you are not as honest with him as you might be. Where are the goods? Sano sent you? Ye gods! How often must I tell him that the caravan was taken by the rebels? He wants the goods, not your excuses. Huh. Problems with Sano are one thing. But if I treat the clan badly, my own people will skin me alive before I can run. What? Smugglers care about the rebellion? 
Aye, you try and do business here. You will soon learn who has the real power on the mountain trails. Everyone curries the favor of Ultar and his men. Ah, here I can work for one side or the other, and nobody will raise an eyebrow. Tis accepted business. But if I try to wrest the goods back from the Karga clan, they will think I work for the house. You understand? I do not see it that way. You are not of Talmont. If you wish to do it yourself, I can show you where they store the goods. I can even pay you half of Sano's money for your trouble, but I will not do it myself. And what of my share? What do I have from this? You stay alive and are a friend to both sides. What? Ugh. Show me your map. It must be... Uh, here. How do you know where the rebels are? Bah! You don't understand. The Karga clan still exists because of two rules. Never hide and always be prepared to move swiftly. Very risky, I would say. Nay. Abrod has tried many times to catch Ultar Karga. But Ultar is like the wind. Many eyes work for the clan. The Karga men know when to vanish. They do not expect any trouble from me. Ah, that should help you get what you need. Farewell. <laughs> Greetings. Or I'll call the guards. What do you think you're doing?
greetings. Hail, Master Traveler. Well met. You are far from the village. <laughs> it's because I followed a thief to this cave, but I will not enter. Why not? Have you not heard? The cave is full of vicious skeletons. Skeletons, eh? That is not so dangerous, methinks. Oh. Mayhap if you were so bold, then you could get that ring back for me. If you can handle skeletons, a simple thief would be easy for you, methinks. Listen, I cannot pay you, but, but, but I could put in a good word for you with the Brotherhood. My brother is a member. And I can give you this mace to help you fight the skeletons. Tis old, but could help against these monsters. He works in the kitchen, but not just any kitchen. He prepares food for the Dracor Rhino, the Grand Master himself. Is he a cook? The best. Tis a family heirloom, passed on to the oldest son for generations. <laughs> it's not even worth a copper coin. The thief had no idea. Oh, you can keep it. I'm no fighter. It would only rust in my hands anyway. Farewell. Nice atmosphere. Hmm, nice company. What's that? Let's see.
How did you get past the skeletons? That is of no import. Hand over the ring. Aye, it is worthless anyway. Looked valuable at first glance. But since you know all about skeletons, uh, you could help me, methinks. Help you? And why? Because I will pay you well. These skeletons have turned bad on me. This used to be a good hideout, but I wanted it even safer, so... Well, I hired a necromancer to summon a few bone shakers to scare people off. That makes no sense. Aye, it does. They were meant to protect me and attack everyone else, but the necromancer somehow made a mistake. I'm no match for them. But if you think you can deal with them, I shall reward you generously. You jest. I am a thief. It is an honorable trade. Did you not see it was worthless? Nay, it sparkled. And he didn't exactly give it to me for an appraisal, did he now? May fortune aplenty accompany you. It's getting hot here. Wonder. Here, you have truly earned this. But you know, these skeletons could just reappear again. I 
I need someone to tell that bungling necromancer to come here and fix it. Would... would you do that for me too? Where is he? I will mark his home on your map. <laughs> he will cooperate when he sees you. better. Did you find the thief? And my ring? A thousand thanks, Traveler. And I will tell my brother of this. Farewell. You? Good day. that. Well met. Ah, well met. Stop it, or I'll call the guards.
Mm, won't open. Let's see. What do you want? Good day to you.
Well met, I... of me. Good day to you. Nay, stop. Leave me alone. Leave, leave me, leave me alone. So... Won't open.
Leave me in peace. Away! Away! Get away from me! Away! Ye gods! Ah! No, don't! Ah. You're new. Are you from Hagrest? Should I know him? Hmm. You look like one of his men. Abrad Skeldon hired a group some time ago. Strong, they say. But for me, a waste of time and money. We must deal with our problems ourselves. And you are? I serve the House of Skeldon, hey, the strongest and proudest of all the noble houses of Catalan. We rule in Talmont. Why are you here in this place, then? Hunting. One of the woodcutters was a Karga leader, but he was warned and fled before we arrived. The rebels know all of our moves before we even move. They are as the wind. Who is this leader you seek? Con Cranach from the clan Karga. One of the villagers from Kovangor told us his whereabouts for peace. 20 gold pieces. I was told that the rebels have many loyal men in the villages. Peasants have no backbone. Rebels when they have to pay taxes. But you can always buy them for gold. It would seem that not every villager can be bought, or Karga would have been in your hands already. Aye, true. And that snake will be more cautious now. The only chance we have to catch him is to play his game better than he. You need someone the rebels would not suspect. Aye. 
You mayhap. Tis dangerous, but well paid. Interested? Tis good. The rebels are scum. But Khan Cranach is different. Do not take him lightly. If you find him, you know what to do. We will hear of him no more. Aye. Farewell. Ah! Away, away! Welcome, traveler. Well met. Mmm, that strong smell, tis alcohol. I thought it was banned in Tarbakin. Nay, tis but vinegar you smell. Your nose deceives you. Hold, tis not my intention to tell the guards, but I would like to know where you get it. Shh. I make my own, and even sell to those I trust. Can I trust you? You sell real spirits, not just wine or ale? Shh. I. But I have a problem. I sent a shipment to Tarbakin some time ago, and it never reached its destination. And now I heard there is a bandit on the road. Have you no more? I will make some, no way, but no I am way. more worried about the road to Tarbakin. If it is unsafe, my trade will die. By the way, you look like a mercenary. You are one, hmm? I, I work for myself. So do some work for me, then. What kind of work? A favor for all us merchants. The guards do nothing apart from collecting taxes. So I, Dras Beklim, am prepared to pay you a considerable sum of money for making the roads safe for travel. What do you say? That bandit stopped my courier at the edge of the forest, outside Covengore. Mayhap a good place to start, hmm? Do not fret. I will find him. I have hired a confident man. Splendid. I and may you get some soon. there? Only a sad traveler in search of good spirits. Haven't you heard that it's dangerous to travel alone? I can take care of myself. Can you? <laughs> what? Now you're in danger, Swordman. I do not wish to fight you. This is your chance to walk away, alive. If we do fight, one of us will not. Pray ask yourself, Bandit, will Maliel smile on me today? Aye, you mean it. Well, let's do this your way. A wise choice. And what is this bag you carry, pray? The clink of bottles. Hmm. Care to share some good spirits with a new friend? Threaten me and then ask for my drink? You have a true neck of iron, friend. I hear. Take him. 
Farewell, friend. safe now? Splendid. And here is the promised reward. You seem in good spirits. Have you some for me? I sold my whole stock to Rillis Welgar. He lives here in Covengor. I and may you get some soon. Leave me in peace! my goods. Do you have them? Oh, well done. My men's mumbles and grumbles will end today. And their efficiency too, methinks. Listen, I shall buy what you have, but without your opinions. Godspeed. Mercenary. Well, how do you fare? Walk carefully. Khan told me we can trust you, can we? Your dedication to him astounds me. Khan is a great man. He saved my life more than once. Don't even think of breaking his confidence.
Have you seen any rope of late? Who are you? I will ask you once again. Have you seen any rope of late or not? Hell's bells, who are you? Just a traveler passing through. Then I suggest you do that. We're trying to catch a traitor who's been working with the necromancer to murder our Lord Skeldon. I hope you stopped the plot. Aye, we've nipped it in the bud. The necromancer is probably hung by now. And we'll capture the second culprit, too. He's coming here. So move along now. I hope you catch the swine. find that rebel? You have done well for Skeldon House. Ebrat will be happy. Here, take your bounty. Aye. Farewell. Away, away! What's that? That's interesting.
So. Well met, weary traveler. How may I be of help? Are you Orm Varagor? Aye, but what do you want of me, young man? A very angry thief sent me to you. He has to hide in a cave infested with your skeletons. Aye, the summoned skeleton spell. Twas what he desired and paid for. Aye, but he did not expect them to attack him too. Twas hard for me to destroy them. Ah, I see. A minor change must be made, and I shall go there. Tis my duty. But you, young man, you say you beat the skeletons? In that case, I may have a task for you. What might that be? Oh, tis a simple task indeed. Much simpler than your last one, I assure you. I am in the middle of some experiments, you see, and I have no time to collect the... Ingredients. What do you need? I need a single shoot of taint, now. What is it worth in terms of gold? Ah, a wise man indeed. Bring me a shoot of taint and I shall pay you with something money cannot buy. A powerful necromant spell. Where there are monsters, in caves, dungeons, and cemeteries nearby. Do you have any special place where I could go first? Ah, let me think. Aye, the old graveyard. Death seems to attract the taint. The Silver Circle uses the word necromancer to name all those who dare to oppose the stale doctrine of the congregation. Many of us prefer the other name. Which is? The Enlightened. A name which reflects the real reason for our research. We believe that what we see is just half of the truth of our world, and that the taint is the key to the most important answers to the nature of our existence. Have you ever heard of the Enclave? Should I have? The gods have chosen us, the Enlightened, to follow the true path to the new, real world. They sent visions to the Flame, and she founded a place where we can prepare for the inevitable. Where is this place? I do not know myself, but I heard that it does exist. And one day, all those who study the path of the Taint will unite under the banner of the Flame. May your search prove taintful, uh, uh, fruitful. How fares your search? Splendid! Give it to me, give it to me. And here is the spell. Now, would you like to earn another spell, perchance? Aye, what is it this time? I discovered I do in fact need more shoots of taint. <laughs> Silly me. How many do you need? I think three more should suffice. Think on your reward. Heal me. How fares the search? You made haste. I hope you can carry out the next task as swiftly. I will grant you yet another spell, of course. What else do you need? More taint? Upon my word, how did you know? A fortunate guess. To be sure I have enough. You could bring me, ha <laughs> five more shoots? What's there? 
Let's have a look. Let's see.
Let's have a look. Let's see. Mm, closed.
greet the gods. Aha. Let's have a look. Stop where you are. Ah, uh, tis you. What, you know me? I, of course. It is not every day that someone outside the clan earns so much esteem. How can I help you? Pray tell me, friend, why are you here? Kahal ordered me to guard the supplies in the cave. I have been on my feet the whole day long. My bunions are like apples now. One more hour and they will be like watermelons. Why do you not move the supplies to the camp? All the clan forces are dispersed. It keeps us mobile and makes it hard to destroy the entire clan. That is why the house will never win. A clever tactic. Indeed. If you need any supplies, feel free to take some. We must help each other in these times. Let's have a look.
I wonder what they want. That's interesting. Welcome here. Well met, I... Hey, you! Stop! Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? Met, Fred. Well met indeed. You aren't ready yet. Am 
Can I help you? Good day. Hail. Looking for something. Looking for something. Oh, have you recovered my staff? Oh, my staff, I cannot believe it. My gratitude knows no bounds. Please take this small gift. Farewell, young man. Good day. Can I help you? Only magic grants you the power to vanquish the most dangerous of enemies. But it takes an open mind and much practice to harness it. Practice of what? I can show you the... How much do you... For a... Welcome to the Brotherhood Shop.
Welcome. My s day. feel well. Oh, that is good. Tell me now, what? Farewell. Well met, I... So... Don't open. Hail. Welcome. Hail, stranger. What do you think you're doing?
Welcome, stranger. What? You wish to speak with me? A fine day. So what is the reason for your visit? I shall see you again. I greet you. Hey, you. <laughs> Well met. Hey there. Ah, I hope well you met. I greet you. Can I help you? I greet you. Good day to you. Mm, won't open. Hmm. Looking for something.
Welcome, traveler. Nice to see you. Greetings. Stop it. We'll all call the guards. Good day to you. Nice to see you. Well met. Oh, stranger.
Stop it, or I'll call the guards. Hail, young man. Well met. Hey, you, stop! Hail, young man. <laughs> well met indeed. Welcome. Good idea. Nice to see you. Well met. Well met, I... Good day. told me I, we do have some problems here, and mayhap you can help us. Are these problems the reason why you have stopped work? Why'd you ask? Of course not. Work here has been stopped by order of Abrat Skeldon himself, but that's none of your concern. Nay, tis something else. Several old reports on the excavations have been stolen. We've got a traitor here, someone high up too. Any suspects? Nay, that's why I asked Sano to send me someone who travels a lot and meets people. You think that the traitor is not in the excavations? Get me these reports. If our enemies get them, we're in trouble. And if you find the traitor, you know what to do. Watch yourself out there. Welcome, Traveler. Greetings. Your deeds for Aus have not gone unnoticed. Ebrot Skeldon himself has asked for you. He wants to see you now. Glad tidings. I also want to ask him a few questions. Aye then. The gate's open. Come in. Got anything for me? Show me. Aye. This is exactly what I need. You have my full support. I'll tell Eberhard that your skills and loyalty are beyond reproach. Use caution on the road.
Good day. Go away. Always welcome here. What leads you to me? What's going on? Good day. Oh, tis you. All is well. Glad tidings and farewell. Looking for something. Hey, stop that. Oh, tis you again. How was the journey? All is well. Glad tidings indeed. Now, since I have paid you enough, you and Sano can now leave me in peace, eh? than a fight, I fear. Oh, Hermo was there something? when they finally tried to break the siege. I remember. He is lucky to be alive. Well, they watch you too, <laughs> and they, they smile. The Can you tell me why? Try to sleep. It was a hard be. year for you. You were right. I feel so dizzy. I remember. He is lucky to be alive. 
Good day. Hey, you! Stop! Looking for something? you to me. Oh, stranger. Well met. needs those documents. Watch. Hail, young man. would rule Catalan. Aye, it's a den of thieves. Gorlin's like a magnet for all the scum in the province. If you know this, why not stop it? And what good would that do, eh? They just find a new place, even harder to watch. Besides, some of them can be useful to us. Use caution on the road. Hey, what is it? I'm on guard duty. Aye, so I see. What is this place? A warehouse. A, a house for wares, goods, booty. Aye, I am not yet in my dotage. I know what a warehouse is, but why is it guarded? We keep prisoners here. The ones of great import, the dangerous ones, the... Aye, can I go in there? Nay, nay! A woman from the village is in there, and Ebrot forbade anyone to enter without his permission. Yo! 
Your dedication to the House of Skelton is truly remarkable. Do you know why I wanted to see you? Because of Ultar Karga and his rebels, right? Indeed. I have chased Ultar for five years, but he's like an eel. The clan Karga has many trusted men among the villagers in Talmond, as you very well know. Your people say that the rebel forces dwindle. My people do not know everything. However, we need to move now, or we will all be in trouble. I have to tell you that these rebels have collected serious evidence against the house. Either we strike and smash them now, or we may never have a second chance. Why not attack their camp? Can you catch the wind? One word of warning from the villagers and their entire camp disappears into the mountains. Are the villagers such a problem? I can deal with a few, but not all of Talmud. One civil war is already enough. You tell me all this information, so I assume you have a plan. I'm glad you understand. We have found out that one of the women of the transports is a spy for the rebels. She's a villager from Covengore. Why do you need me? This is a delicate task. I cannot use my own men or the rebels will be alarmed. It must be someone with no ties, but loyal to the house in his heart. You. If I could help you, what would you require of me? That girl is tough. We cannot break her without killing her. So we need leverage. And she has a husband in Covengore. What is her name? Maxia Calvo. You may talk to her if you wish. She's in the warehouse under lock and key. Even if I find her husband in Covengore, tis possible that he will not cooperate. Make sure he knows what will happen to the girl. But secretly, no one in the village must suspect you. Get in and out swiftly. T'will be done. I will let you know. Do not fail us, mercenary. My house rewards loyalty well, but punishes treachery terribly. Farewell, mercenary. I heard you want to see the prisoner. Ibrat has given me his permission. Ah, then you may enter. But beware, friend. Her teeth are marvelously white when she smiles, but they are sharper than any blade. So, let's have a look. Get away from me! May we talk? You'll get nothing from me. Where are you from? I already told you! Get away from me! What will you do if I free you? I do not believe you. I can open this door and set you free. The key must be in the chest behind you. Ah, you hesitate. I knew it! To see a friend. We like what you've done for the clan cargo. Go on in. News spreads fast up here in the mountains. Aye, our people are everywhere. 
But it is always good to welcome a skilled and loyal fighter such as yourself. something for you. Do I know you? I am Baragal, but they call me Pillory. I punish offenses against the clan. I do not understand. Tis hard to keep order within a group of outcasts. Someone must see order is kept. Otherwise, we would end up like the other bands in the mountains. So you are a judge of sorts. One name is as good as another. How does this affect me, pray? Am I the accused here? Nay, nay, but I heard that you are a bounty hunter. Ah, tis a task for me, eh? All of Talmak will soon know this. We will pay 5,000 in gold for the head of Iza, the traitor who sold Khan Kranop to the house. My thanks for the information. I thought you should know this first, before others start the hunt. Aye, 5,000 will stir the greed of many. Tis more than most folks see in their entire lives. Isa is a dead man, but he knew that the moment he betrayed Khan. Aye, fairly well. Ho! Oh, you must be that mercenary from the south. I've heard much of you. Indeed? T'was all good, I trust. Some men from Comoran told me of you and the Groms. Tis good to know that someone here has such skill. And some men have told me that the Clan Karga is the real power here in Talmont. We are. The Skeldons can't even begin to suspect how much we know about them and their business. Why not take the excavations by force? Nay, we are not that strong. Not yet, anyway. The Skeldons still have more striking power than we, and the money to fuel that power. But that will change. As you're here, anyway, would you mayhap be interested in any mercenary work? What would you need done, if I were interested? There is a man in Gorlin who works for the house. He has vital documents for us, but I cannot send any clan member to the village. Why not? The villagers support the clan. Nay, Gorlin is different. Tis a den of thieves. A place to slit throats and have your own slit, too. Our man there is called Zed Masara. Would you contact him and get me the documents? Let no one suspect who you are. There are those in Gorlin who would like to see the entire clan hung by their necks. How will I recognize this man in Gorlin? Gorlin is almost deserted this time of year. He'll find you. Farewell. Stop it, or I'll call the guards. Zed Mazara, Ethan asked me to find you. He cannot come. I know. There must be a Skeldon informer here. Khan Kronika the clan barely escaped before they came to his house. Do you not perform the same task for the clan? Mayhap, but I don't care for money. I will help Clam Karga to ruin the plans of Abrat. He will pay for everything. A private grudge, mayhap? 
An old grudge, mayhap, but very much alive. So Ethan sent you for the documents? I have them here. Tell Ethan that these are all I could obtain without arousing the suspicions of Brock. He is so canny, I fear that I could be in trouble for this. What is in the documents? Proof of the House of Skeldon's dishonesty with their allies in Catalan. Twill not suffice to have the king lop off any heads, but mayhap twill stir things up. <laughs> Keep them. They are a death sentence if you are caught with them. at you what's that can I help you you and the traitor he will no longer trouble you ha I'll tell Abrat right away watch back when you Let's see Alone. Get away from me! Begging your pardon, Master. Have you been in the excavations of late? I am concerned for my wife. Tis many a long day since I had any tidings from her. Does she work there? Near the transports. Her name is Maxia Calvo. Have you seen her? So, you are the husband of Maxia. I have searched all over for you. Is she well? I prithee tell me. 
How much do you care for your wife? Why do you ask? W w what is wrong? What? Molly will help me. What can I do? Cooperate. The next time your fellow villagers try to warn the clan Karga, you will stop it. I cannot do that. As I thought. Hear me. We have little choice, but I will do everything in my power to free your wife before Ebrod attacks. What if he attacks before you free her? I cannot tell you what you have to do, but tell no one, or they will kill her. Brutally. I prithee, do not make me do this. Stop! Hail, friend. What brings you to a place like this? I could ask you the same question. You look like a society mage. Ah, I left the society a while ago, and I do not regret it. Many young mages would give an arm to enter the society. What was wrong? Jealous struggles for power. That is what awaits he who follows the ways of the society. I soon saw that I could be much more useful here. What do you do then? Help the clan? I here and there. I try to heal humans and animals, if time allows. Indeed, you must have much to do. Aye, much indeed. But this is what I have sought my whole life. T'was hard at the start, however. These clansmen are not too trusting. True indeed. Aye, but you are here. You must have done some deed of significance for them. I do not think so, but I am glad that they do. Who can understand the Highlanders? Anyway, Tis hard to keep them healthy. They truly do not care for their own safety. And if they continue to be as reckless, they will have no healing mixtures left. And no chance to replenish my stocks before the colder weather sets in. Why not? It takes time. And I am not famed for my skills in alchemy. What would you need? Healing potions. Two at least. Then my own brews can become more potent. I will see what I can do for you. Ah, fine fellow. I will pay you a generous price for these potions, you know. Let's have a look. Do you have the healing potions? 
Excellent. I do not have much money, but mayhap this card will come in useful. <laughs> Aye. Let's see. Good luck in your travels, friend. May the blessing of Troglin accompany you. the hunt strange I was sure he had left Talma mayhap he wanted to leave but he was murdered and dragged to that cave what who could be so deaf if they had dragged him here they would have had 5,000 in gold aye but what if the motive for the killing was not the money what was the motive then I do not like this. I fear I must tell Ultar that our information about the events in the mountains is not good, at best. You found the body, so the reward is yours. Still, I would like to know who killed him. Speak with me. Hey. 
I'm working, as you can see. Can I help you? What leads you to me? Let's try that. Not move. I wish to speak with your chief. How do you know he is here? I have no idea. I hope he is. Go and speak with Kahal. I will not open this door without a clear order from Kahal. Understand, eh? I wish I had more men like you. Your loyalty to the clan is more than we expect, even from clan members. Why do you do this? I must speak with Ultar Kaga. He also wishes to speak with you. I believe that my father is indeed impressed with your loyalty and skill. Where can I find him? In his house. The guard will let you in. You have my thanks. One thing before you go. I know my father, and tis certain that he will ask you to carry out a task for us. Say you need time. Then come to me and hear my proposal. Do you have a... a plan, mayhap? Nay, not now. My father awaits you. We all know what you do for the clan. Tis greatly appreciated, too. Kahal told me to let you in. Is your chief home? Go and find out for yourself, friend. Kahal told me of you. Is it true? What did Kahal say? That we can trust you. If you did not know the answer to this, you would not permit me to be here. Indeed, forgive me. It is hard for me to put my clan's future into a stranger's hands. However, mayhap this is what we need. New blood. How can I help you? Arrange matters so that King Emrys once again thinks kindly of the clan, and drive away the House of Skelton from Talmont. Huh. A dream. Two dreams. Do you believe I could do that which you could not, for many years? 
The part with the king is feasible. We have long collected evidence that the House of Skelton plots against him. King Emrys knew that something bad was afoot in Talmont, but we needed evidence which could not be denied. Aye, and you found it. Indeed. Abrat's men discovered a gold mine, but the house forgot to tell the king. A serious matter, especially in times of war. And why? The king cannot stop the orcs. Money is short and the people outside Catalon are angry. Just a few rumors and a strong leader would ignite a rebellion. He will not be a happy man when he hears the tidings. But you still need the proof. We cannot prove that. But this information led us to something even more serious. You know Sanu Moon, the administrator of the excavation? Aye, well. It seems that Sanu not only manages paperwork and discipline, Net Taros has been seen there. And you know him. Net Thanos? A name I do not know. A former apprentice in the Royal Mint. Presumed dead five years ago. Ah, you speak of forgery. Aye, and we need real proof of this. Something to leave Emrys with no doubt who is loyal to him and who is a traitor. Real proof, aye, but what? Notes, coins, plans, anything. Sana would never trust any skeleton with this. It all must be in his house in the excavations. Think on this, and attack on the excavations, and take what you want, by force. Aye, the death of Everett Skelton would disorganize the house, but would not change anything in the royal court, I fear. And I will not only punish Everett and the house, but also condemn those counselors who have sucked the goodness out of our land. And mercenary, should you succeed, you may choose whatever you wish from the clan treasury. A truly noble reward, Master Karga. I am concerned with the future of my clan. You cannot put a price on freedom. May you tr So... It's locked. Ho, friend! He wishes to do this in accordance with law. Am I right? Your father is a man of honor. He should respect the honor of the entire clan. And that demands blood. Did you see his face? Sometimes I think they took his daring and cleverness when they put out his eye. You underestimate your father. He did not stutter. And he knew what he wanted. In order to be reborn, the Clan Karga needs the blood of our enemies. If you have a chance to kill Ebrat Skeldon, pray do it. I will reward you well, very well. What of your father's plans? Aye. We need evidence to discredit the Skeldons before we return to Tabakin. But our hand must strike Ebrat first, not that of the king. Tis a matter of honor. Let's have a look.
Tis indeed good to see you, friend. Do you have anything for me, perchance? Mercenary, this is much more than I expected. Go. Choose a suitable reward for your efforts, whatever you think. My thanks. What will you do now? I still have a few loyal friends in court. The king will have this before the sun has reached its zenith. Then tis farewell to the skeletons. May I believed I could trust you. Your enemies are in retreat. What more do you ask? Ebrot Skeldon should be punished for all he did to Talmont, to the clan, and to my father. And you let him escape. Your father is a great leader. One day you will understand his ways and agree with them, mayhap. Mayhap I will understand his reasons one day, but agree with them, nay, never. That's interesting. We all is your go and
I thought you were mocking me. I could still kill you and enhance my reputation with the house. You are not a man like that. I see it in your face. You spied on the house. What did you learn? They plot against the king. There is someone in the court who coordinates their actions. But I was captured before I could learn his identity. I thought the king supports the house. They are here by his decree. King Emrys does not know of the events in Talmont. He is preoccupied with the war in the south, and he believes anything they tell him about Talmont. What will you do now? I have the key. Those Skeldon will regret they did not kill me when they had the chance. Seems locked. Let's see. Disappoint me. What did you hope to do? Free the girl and vanish on the other side of the mountains? I do not fight wenches, Skeldon. I heard rumors of this honor of yours. No matter. You are a lone mercenary working for whomsoever pays you the most gold, huh? How much did the rebels give you, traitor? Nay, twas free this time, because of the wench. Did you think the clan would greet you as a conquering hero, huh? Ha! Ah, ha! Then you are even more naive than I thought. And you must learn what loyalty means, friend. You have made a mistake, Worm. I have trained with the best swordsmen in Catalon. No one can match me! Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. This is not what we agreed upon. Nay, but to a swifter. And ill-planned. We have now no chance to prove that the King's trusted counselors took part in the scheme to discredit us. You have proof of the House's guilt, however. Aye, you have indeed helped us on that score. My warriors are clearing the excavations now. No one expected the House to be so helpless after the loss of their leader. We have now collected enough evidence to prove to King Emrys that Lord Skelton plotted against him and planned to overthrow him. Now we must restore Tarbacan to its former state, and we must show the King that he can count on the clan always. Do you think he will admit you to the court for good? Aye. We are his strongest allies now, and the war does not go well for him. Now to business. I promised you something. Go. Choose. The Clan Karga rewards loyal service, and we greatly appreciate what you did for us, regardless of the means. Now, if you will pardon me, I must ring in the changes in Talmud.
done well. The House of Skeldon will never survive this. Your father does not share your opinion. He is old. Soon he will retire. Clan Karga deserves better than leaking huts and stale bread. Thanks to you, we will soon celebrate within the walls of Tabakin. Here is your promised reward. I told you you would not be disappointed. Let's see. What's that? What's that?
Welcome to the Society Guild Shop.
doing? Let's have a look.
Looking for something? Nice to see you. What leads you to me? Oh, what do you want here? How did you find us? Are you in charge here? Nobody in this village is in charge of anything. Did you come from the east or the west? Why is it important? I need to know. Did you enter the grove? Nay, no, you did not. We would have known. If you have problems, tell me. Are you under threat, mayhap? Tis of no concern. Forget about us and do not return. Your very presence is a danger to us all. You people are full of fear. If you do not wish to answer my questions, then I will have to look for answers myself. No, you do not understand events here. If we violate the treaty, they will show no mercy. So there is someone who threatens you. Please leave, and if your road leads you through the forest to the west, do not enter the sacred grove. Pass on by, and do not look back. Our lives depend on it. What is this place? Something to be evaded at all cost. I beg you, do not condemn us all. Go. My people are already scared enough. you get. Let's see.
Let's see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see. Behold. That's interesting. Hmm, won't open. They want.
What's that? Won't open. Let's try that. Let's see.
Good day to you. Strangers ain't welcome here. Why are you asking? Go away. Forget about us. Your presence here brings danger down on us, I tell you. Let's have a look. Over there. that. Let's have a look. Interesting.
That's interesting. that.
Who's that? Hey.
for you, brother. Kira, tell me how they treat you. I could not get here sooner. I had much to do. They do not ask questions anymore. It is as if they wait for something. Hear me, Kira. I had to agree to do what they want of me, but do not fear. I have a plan. No, please. The relic should never be used again. I will not finish the ritual, I swear. But tell Gandohar nothing. He is mayhap useful for the moment, but later, he is not to be trusted. That scared me so much. I thought you would use the relic. Is this not a risk for you, to fool them so? There is no risk. I do not believe the legend. But I would destroy that relic for your sake. We must let them think that all is well, and strike when they least expect it. It is not a legend. Our family kept the secret of the relic for 300 years. It is all true. Why then did they give it away without telling us? They told me. You never wanted to listen. You know what I think of that? Our parents continually spoke of the glorious history and honor of our family. And we lived like the poorest peasants. Forsooth, brother. They were not without blame. But the legend is true. The relic was used to entomb Azirah, and it can be used to open the seal. Kira, let the past sleep. We should not bicker. The relic is of no import to me. You are, and I will do what I must to free you. Aye, tis well. But you must be careful. I must leave. The time runs away from me, and I have much before me. Can we meet again? There is a strong node south of the Gaon, but the orcs are surely already there. Nevertheless, I shall await you there. Be strong, sister. All will be well, and Reist will pay for all he has done to you. I could always rely on my brother. May the gods bless your path. You saved Moxie and myself. I cannot thank you enough. How fares your wife? She is well. Those swine only bruised her. Treat her gently. She deserves it. We never expected a miracle like this. A thousand thanks. My eternal gratitude.
Let's have a look.
them again. Pathetic. Let's have a look. Let's see. That's interesting. Thank you. 
get. Different than I expected. Much different. You must be Ho. Gandohar sends me. Gandohar. Another curiosity. Did you notice his smell? I do not care how he smells. Verily, verily. He told me who you are. It does explain the smell to some extent. Aye, old one. Pray tell me, where can I find the relic? The relic? You should know better than I. Twas your family who sold it. <laughs> it was not sold. Verily, verily, you only exchanged the power for a handful of corn. <laughs> you waste my time, old man. I must make haste. Is a man not permitted to wonder at anything nowadays? I only wonder that the relic was far too powerful to part with. But it was parted in the end. Curious, is it not? Is it? Pity, pity. Not very talkative, is he, hmm? However, as you wish, the frame was last seen in Tarbakin, but... I know that Ultar Karga has the frame. Tell me about the relic stones. They are cursed. <laughs> The first was buried somewhere in the barrows, but the old king was madly secretive in his last days. Verily, I do not envy anyone the task of finding his tomb. <laughs> the second one is displayed on public view, so to speak. I hear that they keep it on the altar in the temple. A simple task, methinks. Hey, <laughs> and if the temple is in Gorgama? <laughs> Oh, I see. The orcs may indeed cause problems. The remaining two relic stones were difficult to find, but I found them. <laughs> Hold. Can you smell that? Nay. I was sure... Ah, uh, uh, tis nothing. Where was I? Ah, uh, the relic stones. The third one is in the underground halls of Yatolan. You mean in Ashos? Verily, and the fourth one will be most difficult. There is a dragon in the Drakkar Desert. I have only heard rumors, but it is better if you go yourself, and... I take it that this is a very large dragon? I believe so. He eats stone, I hear. W will you eat with me? I am not hungry. If you stayed, I might tell you what I think of the smell of Gandohar. <laughs> I must make haste. Pray, tell me all you know of the relic. <coughs> the relic, the relic. I know better stories. <laughs> Should I tell you one, perchance? Even if I were able, I would not tell you. Why do you fear him? Fear who? Rice? <laughs> you understand nothing. There are other forces compared to which rice power seems like that of an ant. 
I do not envy you, youngster. I can make you speak, old one. What can you do? Kill me? Ha! Ah! I was ready for death long before I started to work for Reist. You mean, do I believe in a link between you, the relic, and the god of war? Ha 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 ha! Let us wait until you have done what Reist wishes. Ha <laughs> ha! There is a written record of the Scapolari, one of the first, about the mythical birthplace of the gods. There, the gods were granted powers, but only a few are bestowed with the ability to breed creatures that have souls. What has this to do with Azeral? Not everyone believes that he wanted to rule the world. There is another legend, much vaunted by the orcs, which says that Azeral wanted to lead the world to eternal life. These orcs, do they also have souls? <laughs> Ask the gods. <laughs> Let's see.
I like that.
Let's battle. Let's see. Stranger, you look like a good man, one who would help a poor girl. Who? Me? Uh, how can I help you then? It is my mother. She has always been good to me. Now she is sick and we cannot pay for the medicine she needs. How much do you need? Five gold pieces would be enough. I cannot offer you anything as a reward, but I promise you will not regret it. I knew you would help me. If you ever come back this way, I will give you some nice herbs. That will please me indeed. Fare thee well, damsel.
Return this way. You will love the herbs, I promise you that. Oh, greetings again. My mother will get better thanks to you. But you have not given me enough time to collect the herbs in the forest yet. I am glad I could help. I may return later to get those herbs. Come back any time. Nice company. Take that. Hey there. Stranger! Oh, want something? I'm working at this Can minute. I help you? there. Grand day. Well met. A fine day. day. Yes? You want something? Leave me alone, friend. I am occupied. Welcome. A lovely day for trade.
Good day to you. Let's have a look. It's locked. has never been in such danger before. The settlers who founded the village must have been blind to choose a place like this. What do you mean? Did you see that black tower overlooking the village? We thought it was, well, dead. But now, something is up there, and it does not bode well for the villagers. Any problems? We have always known that the necromancers tried hard to learn the nature of the towers, but nobody treated that seriously. There were no records of them, neither in the writings of the ancient races, nor in any prophecies. We ignored them, and assumed that if we did not have such information, nobody would have. There were no records of them, neither in the writings of the ancient races, nor in any prophecies. We ignored them, and assumed that if we did not have such information, nobody would have. Very short-sighted. Indeed. Now the necromancers are one step ahead. The mayor told me that someone visited the tower a few days ago. Since then, a few people from neighboring settlements have simply vanished. What does the society plan to do? I was ordered to investigate on the spot and use all necessary means to quiet this all down. But I do not have enough help. This war absorbs most of the members of the Guild, more than they like to admit. I know of your services to the Society. T'would be an honor for me if you would agree to deal with this problem. For a reward, of course. I doubt if there is any chance to catch those who caused all these problems. But our villagers must be saved. 
The reputation of the society is at stake. Do not fret, Master. Tis not the first problem I have solved. Travel with awareness. Fiddlesticks! Where is that boy? Have you seen my apprentice? Ah, you are not even from here. Fiddlesticks, I say! A mere boy is troublesome for you? Verily. My apprentice claims I am not I and refuses to work. I tried to tell him I am I, but he says that is what the other I also said. The other you? What ails you, old man? It may seem uh, a little odd to you, but there is currently a double of me in that next village. You replicated yourself? <laughs> not quite, but... Well, anyway, t'was not the success I thought it would be. And I need my apprentice back. Can you help me with this problem, stranger? Help you? How then? My apprentice was very upset by the procedure. He took the magic mirror we used, and he will not return it. And why not? He refuses to believe I am the real one. Hi, prithee. Talk some sense into him. I need that mirror to get rid of my double. <laughs> what do you want you of well. me? I thank you indeed, friend. I only hope that you are indeed the real one and not the double. Why, of course I am. Now make haste, I prithee. Bandits. <laughs> Die, Kerr. Let's have a look. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, that's better. Let's see. saw you stealing. Pay 30,000 in gold or get out of the city. Now! All right. Let's have a look. Womit, I... Welcome. Grand day. Boy! You are trespassing here. If you have business with Mr. Mira, please come back later. I have no business with him. I do not even know him. I thought not. I am Mostral Mira. You are not from this area, are you? Nay, I am but a simple traveler. Mayhap a simple traveler could help me with a small task? For payment? Help you? How? I need to meet with my healer colleagues, who are in various locations. You will contact them for me and tell them to meet me here in my house immediately. Denor Pater, Fama Tolem, and Gra Magna. They are all healers and are in Windbreak Village. Tell them that they must come to Mostral Mira's home and that they must make haste. I will try to locate them. May good fortune smile upon you.
my patient I me Let's have a look. What do you want of me? Have you got them yet? Capital, capital! Did you find a good source for them? Nay, necromancer. Does this mean you still need more? Malios, bunions, how did you guess that? This taint shoot matter becomes more predictable the more tasks I carry out for you. I promise you, young man, this is the last time. How many more do you need? Ten shoots. Your reward will await you here. I shall do it. Again. Good fortune with your search. Uncomfortable customers. <laughs> Have it, you. Let's have a look. Let's see.
Let's have a look. I am the best. It's locked.
I wonder what they want. That's what you get. that. Looking for a fight?
Let's have a look. Nice atmosphere. What's that?
Let's have a look.
die. Let's have a look.
Oh, much better.
looking for something. present. That's interesting.
Oh, it's raining. Let's have a look. there. Lovely weather.
What's that? That's interesting. Dark. that so
we go. for you. Let's have a look. Dog. Let's see.
I help you? That's interesting. Look at that. Pathetic. for a fight. to fight. that.
Hey, you! Stop! Day. Welcome. A fine day. Oh, stranger. Ah, well met. Upon my word, you look somewhat a mercenary. If I were a good man? Aye, if you were, I would ask you to help us get rid of the Scapulari. They attack us constantly. And you would hire me to do this? Indeed. We have collected 650 pieces of gold for the one who can do this. Go south along the beach, and you will find their settlement. Can you tell me more of the Scapulari? Nay, but I know of a mage whose tower is near where they live. Aye. The Scapulari harass us still. I must think on this problem, old man. Aye. I'm just finishing this off. Met. Stop it, or I'll call the guards. Stranger! Ah, and what, pray, do you want of a poor old man? 
I need to gather information about the Scapulari. They seem to harass the people of Clovely at will. Scapulari? Ah, you have come to the right place. I study the Scapulari. Ah, so what can you tell me of these creatures? In this case, when the Scapulari appear, Yatalin is angered. And until Yatalin is satisfied... Can any action be taken? Aye, stranger. But the instrument and the cause of his anger must first be known. I believe that these originate in the dunes near Clovely. If you wish to help, you must go back to the village and find out what occurred. Bring me this information, and I will then tell you what your next action will be. Farewell. Traveler, what brings you here? I need some information. I have no secrets. You may ask freely. Did anything untoward occur in Clovely of late? I... Uh, my brother died over three months ago. His wife, Amerline, is in great despair. She weeps still. And you? Do you not grieve for your brother? Life goes on. I still live. Unfortunately, Amerline is not of this world through sadness. Where does Amerline live? Her house is next to mine. She often walks along the shore, but she's usually home at this time. I thank you. Aye, tis good. Farewell. Let's see. Stranger, why do you harass a poor widow? Go, let me mourn in peace. I regret your loss. We were so happy. My husband Darwin was a wonderful husband and fisherman. Tis three months and eleven days since he died. Pray tell me, what happened to your husband? Darwin died while at sea with his brother. Go talk to him, I prithee. My grief is too great. You must have loved him indeed. Verily, I loved my husband. But Yatolin, ruler of the sea, took him from me, although we always made proper sacrifices to the god. Does Yatolin anger you still? I, and I have cursed him. I do not know if that was wise. Ah, oh, leave me with my grief, I prithee.
always welcome here. Good day. Stranger, welcome. So, stand still. Stand still. Stand. Scoundrels. One moment, stand still. Get away Don't. from me!
looking for Something? What happened in Clovely? I, Yatalin's anger was invoked because a woman cursed him when her husband died at sea. Hmm. Unlikely. There must be more. What? To curse a god is not enough? I, Yatalin is angry. 
but he believes he owns the lives of all seagoers. He thinks they are his to claim. If you return to Clovely, try to find out how this man died. Mayhap a clue will surface. Indeed. I shall return to the village now. Farewell. murder, and we have a witness to prove it. Pay th All right. Greetings. What do you want of me? Your brother, Darvin. Tell me all you know of his death, I prithee. Aye, if there were more to tell. Uh, he fell out of our fishing boat and vanished into the sea. Could he swim? Ah, uh, mayhap he was fevered. It just happened. Your story does not have the ring of truth. Speak, or I shall ask you with my blade. Oh, I prithee, I wish no strife. The truth is... We were in my house, and we argued because of profits we had made. I pushed Darwin too hard, and he struck his head on my table. I did not want him to die. And then, what did you do? I buried him far from the village, near the place where the Scapulari have settled. And I told everyone that Darwin died at sea. Your sister-in-law and the villagers, should they not know the truth? Nay, they, they must not learn of my perfidy. I beg thee, have mercy. You are a worm. No more, no less. I hope you meet the fate you so richly deserve. Have you found out the details of the death of that fisherman? I believe so. That man, Darwin, did not die at sea. His brother killed him during the fight and lied to everyone about that which happened. Aye, tis possible that this caused Yatalin's anger. He had been cursed unjustly. This reminded him that he himself did not take the man's life, a life he believes to be his property to do with as he wishes. So what does he need in order to be satisfied? Ah, mm, the solution may not be acceptable for the people of Clovely, because someone must be sacrificed to Yatalin in place of Darwin. What? Someone else? Someone must perish in the sea for Darwin. Are you sure that Yatalin cannot be satisfied in any other way? Nay, I think not. But you should tell that wench to quiet her curses. Then at least Yatalin's anger may subside a little. Aye, tis a good idea. I shall tell her. Even a death at sea may not appease his anger swiftly. No one knows how long that will take. Mayhap ten, mayhap a hundred years. And until then, the Scapulari will be still harassing this village? Aye, that's the way of it. I must take my leave of you. Farewell.
met. Ah, oh, tis you again. I have sad tidings for you, Amerlene. Nothing you say could be sadder than my present fate. Mayhap. Yatolin did not take your husband. Your brother-in-law killed Darwin in a fight. What? Are you sure? How could he do such a thing to his own brother? The problem has only started, fair lady. Your false accusation and curse made Yatolin angry. That is why he sent the scapulari. Do you mean that all our troubles with the scapulari are of my doing? Nay, pray tell me, what can I do to appease Yatolin? He needs a human sacrifice. Yatolin could not take Darwin's life. Therefore, he wants someone to die at sea to replace him in his watery realm. Is there no other way? If we were to beseech Yatolin and mayhap offer him anything else? You could try, but no one knows how long Yatolin's punishment will last. I believe the people of Cloverly will have to become accustomed to the scapulari. Ah, me. Yatolin is angered, and my brother-in-law is a murderer and a liar. I never want to see him again. Nevertheless, I prithee, tell him I forgive him. I swear I shall do it. I thank you. Now, I would ask thee to leave me with my sorrows. Farewell. Do not be sad. Ah, me! What misfortune! Is something afoot? Tell me. Tis Amerlene. After conversing with you, she ran straight into the sea. Nay. Nay. Ah, she must have decided on her fate when we spoke with one another. That is why she wanted me to tell you that she forgives you. Verily, she was a good woman. But why did she do this? She sacrificed herself to Yatolin to make the Scapulari Yatolin's punishers leave Cloverly in peace. Gods, oh, I feel so guilty. I have lost them both, my brother and my sister-in-law. I regret I cannot find any compassion for you. I must go. Let's see. It's closed. Stand still. Halt. A witness saw you stealing. Pay all right. Ah, well met. The Scapulari harass us still. I hope you can finish with them very soon. I must think on this problem, old man. Uh What happened in the village? 
I sense that Yatalin's anger fades as we speak. How can you sense this? The Scapulari return to the sea now. Are the villagers of Cloverly safe now? Aye, twould seem so, but tell me, what occurred? A widow sacrificed herself. Twas indeed sad. I understand. I hope she will meet with her husband on the other side, and the killer. I let him live. He is of no interest. Wise, wise. He may spend his entire life in the state of mourning. I must depart, mage. I understand. I too must depart. Another nest of the Scabellari is south of here. No matter. My grateful thanks. I have never seen the Scapulari retreat in that way at such close quarters. I could not have achieved anything without your help. You are gracious, stranger. Farewell. Have you destroyed the Scapulari? They will harass you no more. A miracle. How did you achieve this? It was not easy. By the way, Amerlene sacrificed her life to save her village. Amerlene, the widow? Ah, when her husband died, she lost her zest for life. She had her reasons, but I tell you this, and I know it. From this day, her name should be lauded in all the region's villages. Indeed, stranger, we shall remember her. So, if I may ask, she has then earned the gold for the destruction of the Scapulari? Nay, that is mine. Be honest with me, I warn you. Whatever you say, uh, 650 in gold, as I promised. A wise move indeed. Farewell. I don't believe it. Are you another young weakling looking to woo my daughter? Young weakling? Watch that tongue, old man. And I don't even know your daughter. You'll stay healthy if it stays that way. The last one who came here, all agog. Theron Hlose, his name was. He left here with blue ribs and black eyes. He won't forget meeting me in a hurry. Though, I must say, you don't look like a milksop. So mayhap, you could help me out. And marry your daughter, no doubt? Nay, I jest not, stranger. I don't want that milksop hanging around my moonstruck daughter. So, go to him and tell him never to bother her again. Aye, a solid thumping, if you will. Then he'll stay away. Where can I find him, pray? Theron Hlose, his name is. He lives here in Cloverly. I'll be here with your reward. Hail, stranger! Welcome, Master. Are you Terran Hlos? I am he. 
I have a message for you. Leave the village, never to return. Forget about Ayas Morato's daughter. So Ayas does not even give me time to pack my belongings. A beating was not enough. And now he sends a messenger to make sure I go. So, you were told to leave already? Why did you stay then? I cannot leave Maya. I love her. And she loves me. She, she told me she would kill herself if I leave. So I decided to stay and fight for our love. Fight? <laughs> if I may be so bold, your muscles are as peas on the pod. I, I, have, I have no other option. She, she is my life. To leave her would be worse than any beating, even death itself. You would do that for us? I, I would try. I am deeply indebted to you. Unfortunately, Maya's mother has, has locked her in her room. But if you speak with the good dame, it may help. The mother, hmm? We shall see then. May the gods smile on you. Welcome, young one. Fancy a nice bit of fish, eh? Nay, not today. Could an old fisherman ask you for a small favor, perchance? That depends on the favor. The big shoal of fish that comes every year is due in our fishing grounds. But Virgil and his pirate crew are out there. So what can I do about it? You, you could tell him a story of a bullion ship on its way to Ashos by way of the Western Passage. He's so greedy, he'll leave like a shot. Why do you think he will believe me then? He will. He's always looking for information from strangers. Pretends to be a trader, he does. The pirate. Um, he thinks you'll find him and his crew at Stickle Bay Beach. I right, farewell then. Traveler, I'm Virgil, sailor and trader, and who might ye be? Only a traveler. Ah, getting around as you do. I suppose you see a lot of things, things that might be of interest to me. Mayhap, but pray tell, why is a sailor and a trader stuck on this poor piece of land? Why is he not out on the open sea? <laughs> Good question. I'll tell you, one of my crew stole my compass, and I can't sail too far from shore without it. Indeed. Have you tried to recover it? I sent my crew to get it back, but they only found his corpse in the caves out there, and no compass. Do you think the compass is still somewhere in these caves? Mayhap, mayhap. If it is there, I could recover it for you. Verily, I would pay you handsomely for it. 
See you, stranger. Do these caves hold for a vagabond like you? I want to find the place where one of Virgil's crew hid. Mm, mayhap I can help you, but you have to swear that you will help me in return. I will not give my word to you if I know not what that something is. It is a matter of great import for me, but a simple task for you, I warrant. Think on this. Without me, you'll find nothing. A mere vagabond you are. Thank you. You will not regret it. Indeed, I hope so. But one piece of advice. You should not be so impolite to strangers. I am no vagabond. Uh, hi. You are right. I've been alone for such a long time now that I've forgotten how to converse with people. Pray tell me all. I will do my best. I want you to go to my mother in Clovely and tell her I'm sorry. Is that all? And I have something for you. A compass. Mayhap you need it. I found it in the caves among a pirate's belongings. That is indeed a stroke of good fortune for me. I must leave you now. I shall speak with your mother soon. Farewell. Not my kind of society. Rain again. You came back, eh? With or without my compass, eh? I, I have it here. Ah, here's your money. We can sail away from here now. So, mayhap we'll meet again? See you, strange. Die, Kerr. Has Virgil sailed away now, eh? Eh? Aye, you can catch all the fish you need now. Well done, and here's your gold. Aye, farewell then.
Hello, traveler. What do you want of me? I have a message for you. A message? Can it be that you met my son on your travels? Good dame, I spoke to him of late. He wanted me to tell you that he is sorry. My boy, where is he? He should come back home. I have forgiven him long ago. Pray tell me, what did he do? He wanted to go to the fair in the town. I said no. We had no money. And one night, he disappeared with all my savings. He acts before he thinks. Aye, however, if you want him back, he is in the caves. Young man, my heart is full. Farewell. Farewell, young man. And who might you be, young man? I am here on behalf of Teron Hlos. Ah, tis like him to send someone in his place. Oh, I've got nothing against the lad. But you can tell him he needs to prove that he can provide for my daughter. How can he prove this to you, good dame? Mayhap if he gave my daughter a proper betrothal ring to start with. Ah... Uh, Fare thee well, young man. <laughs> Did you speak with Maya's mother? Indeed. It is her will that you prove yourself worthy of her daughter. I will do anything. She wants you to produce a betrothal ring, and a nice one. This will prove that you have the means to care for her daughter. I had a beautiful ring, but some knave stole it from me, from my house. Could it have been Maya's father, perchance? Mayhap he paid others to steal it, but it was not he who took it. Do you know for certain who took it? I gave a bed to a stranger who had no place to stay. My neighbor said he knew him, so... But the next day, the ring was gone. Did you question the neighbor? I tried, but he said I was mad. He became angry and threatened me. I see. Methinks I shall speak with him. I shall try. Hey, you! Stop! <gasps> What can I do for you? I heard about your neighbor's mishap with the ring. What? It is a lie. He accuses my good friend of robbing him of a ring. Untrue. All lies. Tis a lie, you say? My friend is honest. Do you dare to imply that he is not? This is no business of yours, methinks. I do not care whether you took the ring or not, but if you do not tell me where your friend is, I shall ask you with my sword. Hold. I did not understand you. He is in the woods to the southeast, and fine master, I, I prithee do not tell him that I told you this. Very well. I shall not mention your name. I hope not. Thank <laughs> you. 
Who are you? I don't like strangers. I must speak with you. I doubt it. Do you know the name Teron Los? Who? You slept at his home of late. Mayhap I did. And? <laughs> a jester. How droll. Do I seem like a jester to you? Mayhap my sword jests also? Why should I fight you because of a ring? Here, take it. I knew you would come to your senses. I wish you a speedy journey back. That's for you. Aha! Hey there. <laughs> Nay, not you again. Your friend was not as honest as you claimed. I know nothing. Now leave or I'll call the guards. Have you found the ring? Aye, and do not trust your neighbors in future. Take the ring, and give it to Maya's mother. Tell her I have taken an oath to care well for her daughter. <laughs> 